and we sang mostly classic rock songs. I immediately thought it was kind of lame, and I kept thinking of ways to leave. But the people in the group kept reassuring me that what we were doing was cool, uh, so I stayed. Even though I made a few really good friends there, I was kind of embarrassed the whole time. And then one day, we were invited to an a cappella summit in Albany that was hosted by a group that we had never heard of before. And the whole thing took place in a windowless building called The Egg. The event was called a cappella Innovations, and it was hosted by a man named Keith. He didn't have any background in a cappella, but his bio said that he was one of the world's top three problem solvers, whatever that meant. He lurked around the venue all weekend, giving lofty speeches about the transformative power of a cappella, and at one point even uh, asked us for our social security numbers uh, for some reason. This is some of the only existing video of the event, and I, I'm actually in it, right, right there. The master of ceremonies was a woman named Allison Mack, who I knew from that TV show Smallville, even, even though I had never watched it. I think the value of a cappella in the world is, is just, it's another form of human expression. It's another example of the beauty that we can build as human beings. They were using this event to premiere their own a cappella group called Simply Human, which we were all supposed to be in awe of. Put on that red light. Walk the streets for money. I can tell that they were horrible watching it back now, but for some reason in the moment, I genuinely thought they were just as good as they said they were. You don't have to sell your body to the night. When we finally had some downtime, we decided to Google Keith and everyone there for the first time. Their organization was something called Nexium, and Keith was on a bunch of cult watch websites for running multi-level marketing schemes. We also read that some people even killed themselves after taking his executive success programs, and, and we all got really worried. They had set up this event to groom undergraduate students to join Nexium. In their eyes, being into acapella had pre-qualified us for a cult because we were so eager to be accepted. At the closing night party, we all decided to confront them. We screamed at Allison Mack and Keith Ranieri in front of uh, the rest of the acapella groups and scrawled the names of the suicide victims on the whiteboards that they had set up on the walls. It caused a massive controversy in the a cappella community. And there was a really long thread on the, on the a cappella message board afterwards. Nexium tried to destroy our credibility by accusing us of vandalizing our hotel room that they rented for us. They said we covered it with human waste. And they even contacted the dean of my college to try to get me expelled. At that point, the only way to stay in school would be to personally apologize to Nexium over the phone, uh, which, which I did. After that whole incident, I never got involved in acapella ever again. And from what I hear, neither did Keith. <laughs> 